there. <gasps> he committed tubicide! <laughs> is there a tiny bit evil toaster that he threw in there with him, or is he just... Did he just... Is it, no, he's holding his breath. It's, he's holding his breath for a really long time. What is going on again, Nerd Paraders? Thank you guys so much for coming back to Hang Out with us today. We're playing some more Ark Survival Evolved in its medieval style because we're playing on the game of Obelisk servers once again. And we're here in the, in the Blue North, the Viking Blue North, as we're showing off our epic Viking castle to you guys on this episode here today. So welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for coming to hang. I am Nick. This is Nerd Parade, and I'm sitting on the throne of the Blue Viking King. And casually over here to my right... You'll notice one of my unconscious concubines who I just finished having my way with because I am the Viking King of the fucking North. Anyway, we're joined here with mine, who has been one of the key arc techs of building our castle here, and we're starting out in the throne slash spawn room. Mine is also naked because everyone is my concubine in this frozen North. Doesn't matter, male, female, it's, we're Vikings, we don't care. Anyway, we're starting out in... I, I think this looks very, like, Viking slash yurty like kind of long housey yeah I like, point i like this build and it's right on the center of where we started the castle as well as the very center of the obelisk the place of our power where we generate the power of our tribe from because we are the blue vikings but well, we're going to show you off our epic castle that was built as well as some very cool hidden secret chambers once again welcome to the channel guys and let's get this tour kicked off right now, mine being one of the main architects of the castle, uh, has had pretty much full building control of our crazy kingdom. Now, I put like zero restrictions on building or anything like that. I didn't want to be that guy like, oh, make sure you build for the videos and stuff because that's impossible. Nobody really likes that. So what I'm going to try to do is get you guys caught up with some of the building stuff that I missed out on. So it's a tour for me as well as you guys. So I'm happy to bring you along here and hope you really enjoy this castle build. If you do at any point find yourself liking the castle build, drop a thumbs up on the video for us. Let us know they like the stuff that way. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the crazy cool videos coming your way. Did you just tell me to come on? All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Enough wordies. Let's go. Give me the tour. We'll it's start a tribe room. Um, Proctor built it. Well, I built it. He decorated it. Proctor? Awesome. Oh my god, this is amazing. There's a saber tooth rug here. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. And then there's a map of the arc. It's a 3D map. I even I, I backspace so that we can see everything. We've got a caged RG carrier pigeon that's gonna deliver our notes to other kingdoms, our threats of death. Like, hey, you owe me five dollars, other kingdom. We're going to message you via carrier pigeon and tell you you suck that's pretty much how i envisioned that would go down more or less <laughs> i like how our couch is blue to match with our tribe theme yep. we've got it we've got the black pearl in a bottle we have some direwolf heads because we're, we're of the north we're the vikings in the north we have to have direwolf heads swords and shields we've got an amazing fireplace with the uh the very primitive the Ingram on the hand, the implant on the hand. I said Ingram, I meant implant. That's cool. That You found that in the cave in Scorched Earth. We've got a kitchen. Dude, this looks awesome. The decoration is on point. Holy it crap. Is. We've even got donuts. Dude, Homer Simpson would be pleased. We've got freaking donuts in here. Do it. Do it. I need a sweet roll <laughs> for my Skyrim needs. You're bouncing up and down on the rug. This is awesome. I love- look at this glorious feast! Wait, why couldn't this be the throne room? This is way more epic! <laughs> this is your eating chair. This- okay, so I-, I Alright, in true Viking form, we have to have- the most epic has to be in battle and during eating. So that- that fits- that fits. Right, yeah, I'm gonna sit in this. Let's, let's K-mode that up. Look! <laughs> it's so epic, my feetsies don't even touch the ground! <laughs> This makes me look like a kiddo. I love it. All right, let's get out of this guy and continue on with the tour. So this is kind of like the uh, the mess hall of the tribe, so to speak. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, is... we got a goddamn bathroom. He's asleep in the tub. He just drowned himself. There's Proctor right there. <gasps> he committed tubicide. <laughs> is there a tiny bit evil toaster that he threw in there with him? Or is he just, did he just, is it... no, he's holding his breath. It's, he's holding his breath for a really long time. 
Can you actually get in? Can you get in? The Lay in the tub! I am in the tub with him! This is amazing! Uh, there is... He's just chilling in the tub. And... Oh, he's watching... He's part, he's part of my concubine crew. He's washing my undercarriage right now. I'm just gonna chill here and enjoy my bath. You continue this without me. I'm gonna just relax. Wait, there we you're go. bathing with me. Oh god, alright, there's too many there's too many guys in a tub here. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in a tub. <laughs> stuck for a second. <laughs> We've got a What is that? Unlock Trophy case! Oh, that's pretty cool. Got a little sink to wash our face in. Dude, this is Did you take your pants off? You well, took your pants off to poop. So... You took your pants off to poop and you still shit on the top of it. I missed, oops. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We've even got a shower system. This is quite possibly the most amazing bathroom I've ever seen. And we have to claim our colors. The blue tribe with the banner up in the sky. This is awesome. Are you, Am I dancing on the rug for you? Because you're dancing on the rug. Yeah, it must be a glitch for the rugs. Interesting. It just looks like you're trampolining on the rug. That's pretty awesome. We've got a, f a floating bear. This was a magical bear? This was Aladdin's bear rug. So that we're going to ride it throughout the arc. Going over Arkagraba? Nah, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about that one. I like Arkagraba, but not that much. We've got a desktop light. Dude, this looks awesome. I'm not sure where we're getting the power for this lamp, but... It's... S Snowler powered? <laughs> because we're in... Okay, my puns are terrible, but they're also so bad that they're great. Uh, we've got a sign here. Room... Made by Proctor for Nick. That's awesome. That looks awesome. Proctor did a fantastic job on decorating this place. Let's check out the remainder of the base. This is so super cool. Did I miss something? I was just... I was... <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Secret rooms. Secret hidden compartments. Secret hidden chests. Secret hidden water pipes. Of some sort. Secret, oh, secret? Everything is secret. It's super... It's built into the rocks. Show me, show me the way. Now, this is the first time I'm actually seeing this, so I'm a little blown away. I hope you guys are just as blown away as I am. But this is looking beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, shoot, it's built in like an X shape. I love that. Yep. I love that castle design. That is super awesome. So, is there any other way to access the lower floor? Other yes. than there is. So, I was thinking that it might be fully fortified down below. Each tower has an access, but it has to be gates. Oh, 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 okay. I love the forge area here. Is there just the one main entrance? Yes. Oh, now. I like that so much. So this is this is it. This is the main entrance to the castle, and this yep. is an epic ass looking castle. This looks awesome. I love the cross connecting everything up at the top. This is an awesome castle, and this is just. This would be technically co considered a keep, right? Because the castle is the entire structure, whereas the keep is the central building of the castle. I believe so. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on my castle architecture, but I think that that might be what it is. Feel free to correct me in the comments below if you do know, but I think this would be considered the keep, so that's kind of what I'm going to refer to it as just for uh, thoroughism. That's right, it's a word. We made it up right now. All right, I'm following you once again. Are there many more secret rooms in this keep? Um, there's a couple random spots. You get up love, in the towers up here. I love the secret rooms. The secret rooms are so awesome. This is the X right here. This is cool. Is this a jail cell? Oh, no, no. It's just a, right, a ramp up. This down here is the only way to get in it right here. Okay. I'm going to put something secret in here eventually. Nice. I like this. Like a little treasure room or something. Yep. That could be cool. And it's glowing blue, so it fits perfectly with our theme. It could be the blue treasure room, hidden behind the king's throne, or something. I'm trying to think castle-related terms, and that's actually pretty damn awesome. Oh, Here's the very top. Very tip-top. Dude, this is amazing. The keep is solid. But what's even more solid is the defenses. The freaking wall on the exterior and the windmill over there. Does the windmill actually power? Yes, it powers the millstones inside. That's awesome so it generates power for the millstones in there yes that's pretty damn cool we're going down yep yeah, this bigger spot. take a faster way yeah that's way faster i'm right, following you just so we can see all the rest of the crazy cool keep and some more secret rooms i know there's at least one secret room that we have yet to visit 
Okay, this was not it. This, this is double secret room. Although it's probably not going to be too terribly secret after this video. I'm okay yeah. with it. Just because I think it's awesome. Now this is how you guys... We covered this on a previous episode uh, briefly. But this is how you guys did the base floor ceiling with the uh, foundations like kind of layered on the bottom. Which gives this a uh, bit of a dungeon-y vibe. So I'm yeah, digging... I'm going to make a big dungeon down here. Eventually, I just haven't got around to it yet. I like it. I'm digging the dungeon e vibe that this is giving off. So I think it could be cool to put, like, some jail cells and stuff. Maybe store prisoners down here. Use them as blood bags because this is the primitive style PvPs. The ultimate warfare in the castle. Oh, and there's even a secret freaking chamber. Dude, the secret chambers. I love them. <laughs> this is jail cell. Yep. You have, you have some jail cells already, and they do look really awesome. They look like jail cells. There's a sink, there's a poop room. See, if you're oh. not very good, you get these cells where you just get a bucket. Oh, wait, so if you're an extra bet, So this is for our uh, VIPs, very important prisoners. But over, where's, where's the bucket one? These two are bucket ones. You just the bucket on the floor in there. Okay. This is for the NIPs, the not important prisoners. <laughs> they get they get this bucket in which they have to poop in, but they can still wash their hands because we're not savages, we're Vikings. We're gonna make sure that they don't spread E. coli throughout the entire kingdom. This is looking freaking awesome. Now, did you help build this or was this, was this also Proctor, AKA Armstrong? I built all this. Oh mine, you're a freaking architect. I love it. This is looking so super cool. The, the Blue Kingdom castle. Got, got a lot going for it. I want to see if the Green Kingdom and the Red Kingdom, how they measure up. We're gonna have a uh, we're gonna have a, a kingdom off before we have you know our standard PVP battles. More hidden rooms. <laughs> oh, no, They're I, everywhere. I got trapped in it. I'm not good at operating the secret passage doors, but I love these. Oh, we're inside the walls, aren't we? This is just part of the wall. We're like Titans. Goes all the way around. We're like Attack on Titans. We're hiding in the walls. Spoiler alert, there's Titans in the walls in case you didn't notice. That's like uh, season one. So if you haven't gotten that far, shame on you. Because that's like two seasons delayed. But uh, for those of you that did already know, it's like saying Snape kills Dumb Dumbledore. It's far too old to be considered a spoiler at this point. That's my defense and I'm sticking to it. Damn it. Oh, we've got some respawn beds in here. Oh, no, and it leads you right up to the... Exit to the keep. Or the so exit to the, the back entrance. Okay, so we've got a back entrance here. Now I crossed a, across that. Across, across? I crossed across one time. So I knew that this existed. Should I do it? You shouldn't. I realized exactly when you said that that I was doing something very dangerous that's standing next to a ledge in front of you. It usually <laughs> ends poorly for me. But I was mesmerized by this. What is that? The beginning of a bridge to nowhere. That's the jump for the red op. Oh, that's a red op jump point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we got fancified. Yep. Oh, we got. Can you make it all the way there? With um, that you jump? make it very, very close. That's awesome. See, I took the green op jump when I was spying, uh, and I made it like super, super close. Not like right on it, but pretty damn close. I think if we built it up, maybe, I don't know. Oh no! Wait for me. <laughs> If we build it up just a little higher, we could probably make it the entire way to green without much trouble in one shoot. I'm I'm super excited for this. All right, are there any other amazing secrets in which we must behold and show off the guys so they can be a part of the Blue Kingdom? Uh, it's mostly the wall and secret corridors here and there. I love the secret corridors and the walls. These are super, super awesome. You could shoot through these little arrow slits to fend off invaders. Yep, the entrances are double gated at least. The front one, I think, has four gates. That's very defensible. Very awesome. I love how the Castles and Keeps mod has really added to the flair of Game of Obelisks. When we first, I mentioned this a couple of times in previous ep episodes, but uh, when we started doing Game of Obs some two years ago, like this was kind of what I envisioned it would look like eventually. And seeing this now is like. It's almost a little overwhelming. Like I, I'm so excited to see how the seasons have progressed thus far. I think this is our fourth time doing Game of Obs, and this is by far the best one yet, just aesthetically looking. Not to mention the other factors that we have that are making this season so epic and the PvP so badass with the uh, Make Arc Great Again plugin, aka the MAGA Initiative. 
it, it's it's shaping up to be something super epic. Mind you, are shitting everywhere. You're leaving a breadcrumb trail of proof, proof of poop for me to follow. I don't know where I got proof, but that's how that's how we roll in this trip. We just shit everywhere. It's like, hey, where'd you go? Follow the shit. You'll find me. This wall's big. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, this wall is very big. Oh, and there's a secret room in here. This is awesome. So, uh, the... Oh, God. Enemies cannot actually open the secret rooms. They would have to blow down the wall. Whereas for tribe guys, it's like a wall slash door. It's a dwall. Or a war. Yeah, I'm eventually going to use this tower for something, but I haven't figured out what yet. Thank you for letting me get away with that. I was going to say I think I prefer dwall. <laughs> anyway, you're going to use this aspire for something epic, but you haven't figured out what yet. Yep. Well, I am very impressed with your ingenuity thus far. We're inside the wall again like Titans. And this might be kind of close to concluding our castle tour. Yep, it's getting close. So this is just far. more area to shoot out at people attacking. I like it. I like this a lot. So, so far, this is what we've got. Now, since I wasn't actually participating a lot in this building, I was more off screwing around and PvPing over at the uh, green and red obelisks. I wanted to make sure that this got a proper show off so you guys can see how the blue tribe is doing and how we're living. I also do plan to go over to the red and green tribes to ask for a bit of a tour and we can get a comparison to see how their kingdom is comparing to the blue vikings tribe. Anyway, nerd praters, this epic castle tour has to sign off at some point, so this is going to be where I leave you. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming to hang out with us today. Checking out the hidden rooms in the castle, which I am so very fond of, and our progress on Gale Vobilis thus far. Like I said earlier in the video, if you enjoyed this one, smash the thumbs up button for me. Let me know that you're excited for more and you enjoyed this episode. If you want to see us fire some trebuchets at the unsuspecting victims below, be sure to subscribe to the channel for some more cool videos and so you don't miss any of the wars coming soon on Game of Obelisks. We're going to have to defend the North at some point. But today, we remain okay. Rhyming is on point. Thank you guys again so much for coming and hanging. Remember to take care of yourselves out there. Stay awesome, and we'll catch you in the next one. Later.